Hello everyone, my name is Tajen, and in this short video I will show you how to analyze and optimize a steel frame using the integrated steel design on S-Frame. I have already set up a two-story 2D regular frame. And the first thing that we need to do is add some loading. So we're going to have two load cases, a wind load case and a dead load case. On the wind load case, uh, I have added uh, two joint loads of 150 and 150 newtons. And on the dead load, I have added a uniformly distributed uh, load on these three member of 350 uh, newton meter. Additionally, very important, it's uh, on the geometry window to add the supports. So uh, with the support tool, uh, we can see that I have added four simple supports on each one of the uh, joints. The next step would be uh, to verify our material properties. Uh, in this case, it's already selected as steel. Uh, if it's not already selected as steel, we can just click on the color and then select all of our structure. And now all of our structure is uh, predefined as steel. And finally, uh, another crucial part of uh, the pre-design, it's uh, to set up a section. And if we click here on the section properties tool, uh, we can go to the steel database and select a steel table. In this case, it's going to be the American and select a section. Um, I have already one section selected, but I am going to go with a different section for the beams and one for the columns. So let's go with um, uh, 40 by 235 and click on OK. So now we have uh, two different uh, section sizes and we're, I'm going to select uh, this one, this uh, color so we can differentiate. I click on close and I'm going to select the second section size for these members. And now we have two different section sizes, one for the beams and one for the columns. The next step is to analyze our structure and we can do this through the run and analysis uh, menu or directly through the analyze button. We're going to run a linear static analysis and click on OK. And we get a clean analysis and then we click on enter. Once this is done, we can see uh, the general results, such as the reaction, the actual forces, uh, the shear. Now what we want to do is to run our structure through the integrated steel design. We can do this by clicking here on this um, button or by going to run and S steel. And now on the S steel um, program, we can see uh, some different options and we're going to go uh, straight away and run a code check for all of our loads. In this case, it's the load combination one. And we can see that uh, with the section sizes that we selected in the beginning, uh, we will have a very low utilization radio on some of our members, such as here. So from an academic perspective, we already have saved a lot of time in order to get these utilization radios and the code checks. But we can see that only one of these uh, members is economically viable. So another time saving feature is to optimize this utilization radio and avoid uh, doing one more time all of the handmade uh, calculations. Uh, to do so, we can go to the design 
input uh, window and we can go to the edit menu and then go to sections for study here we can select the different section type and sizes that we are willing to consider for our code check this will allow us to save a lot of time and quickly know if the section that we are proposing is adequate for our project after selecting which sections we want to consider we can run a design and the program will let us know which of them passes the code check and its utilization radio avoiding the process of making those hand calculations ourselves and only focusing on reviewing the ones that we know that are adequate later.